This tutorial is going to look at creating line work for a standard curve in a base map. It's important to note that this is a base map of existing conditions and not uh, a site plan, in which case the curb layout on uh, the entire road layout would be done in a different manner with a center line, tangents for those center lines and offsets for that. But in this case, for an existing base map, we can use a series of arcs and lines to create uh, the general geometry for this parking lot island. The standard curve is comprised of three parts. The part that we have drawn first is the face of the curve. This is the part that projects up six inches and defines the roadway. Six inches back from that curve is known as the back of curve, and 18 inches in front of that curve is known as the edge of pavement. We can create both the back of curve and the edge of pavement by using the offset tool. We'll do that here. We'll type O space, we'll type six inches for the back of curve, and we'll click that line and project back. We can also type O space 18 inches and project this forward, hitting escape each time to cancel. We could continue this process around the entire island for the remaining curve, but in this case we're going to join the face of curve into one single polyline using the poly edit command. But what we'll do first is delete these two lines. The first step in joining the curve together is to type PE for poly edit. And we'll select on this line right here and hit spacebar. Sometimes AutoCAD will ask if you want to convert this into a polyline, in which case you'll say yes. The next thing I want to do is type J space, which is our shortcut for join. And we'll begin selecting the rest of the curve. And what I can do here is I can actually step back and select this entire area. And by starting with this point, it will actually connect all the lines that are connected to the original starting one. I'll hit spacebar to end the join command and hit escape. What you'll notice is that everything that's connected in one continuous line is now joined as a polyline in this case. From here I'll zoom back in and I'll offset again six inches for the back of curve. And instead of doing one line, in this case it does all of the lines. I'll do the same thing on the outside, going 18 inches from the face of the curve and project out. Now depending on your pin settings and line weights, you want to give the face of the curve the strongest line weight and the back of the curve and the edge of the pavement a much lighter line weight. By creating all three lines for the curve in your roadways, your base maps will read a little clearer and designate the roads a little stronger.